Mirantis has announced Docker Enterprise Container Cloud at its inaugural Launchpad 2020 virtual conference. But what exactly it is and what kind of problem it is trying to solve? To dive deep into this announcement, we have with us Adrian Ionil, CEO and co-founder of Mirantis. Adrian, first of all, welcome to the show. Let's get directly into the topic. What exactly is Docker Enterprise Container Cloud? Well, what we are releasing today is the, is the Docker Enterprise Container Cloud, which is a radically different uh, container platform experience uh, for enterprises who want to ship code faster. It offers developers and operators a consistent experience on public and private clouds with self-service for developers, with industry-leading security, and with the richest amount of choice at every single layer of the stack. Um, that is what we are announcing today. Container Cloud gives enterprises um, the opportunity to create a consistent experience and ship code faster on public and private infrastructure. So it makes it extremely easy for developers and operators to self-provision the Kubernetes clusters anywhere, manage them in a very consistent fashion, and ship code faster with complete workload portability on public and private clouds. That's what Container Cloud does. In addition, one of the most compelling features which our customers have been telling us they want is to have a true cloud experience on-prem, a public cloud experience on-prem, where the, uh, the uh, updates are fully automated, lifecycle management is fully automated, and where developers can self-service all the infrastructure they need on demand. Right. Can you talk about the core components of it? How, many, how much is coming from Mirantes? How much the acquisition that you made of Docker Enterprise? So uh, a lot of the core technology comes from the Docker Enterprise. Uh, so a lot of like, super important uh, components like the Docker Enterprise engine, which is the most secure engine in the market today um, by, by any standards out there. The um, UCP, the, the control plane, uh, comes from Doc Enterprise as well. And we've added some unique uh, pieces of IP from Mirantis that we've been developing over, over many years and have proven to be extremely valuable to our customers, especially the lifecycle management, the automated lifecycle management, the ability to provide continuous updates to the infrastructure on public and private clouds. Uh, without any interruption for users or operators. That's a very powerful piece of technology uh, that we've contributed. And the self-service capability um, is also coming from, from your aunties. And finally, the last piece, which is extremely important for customers, is the ability to manage bare metal at scale, especially from on-prem environments, from the metal upwards that includes provisioning of the operating system, all related components, and all the stack on top that happens in a fully automated fashion um, from the bottom up. I was going through the press announcement and also um, all the material. It seems that uh, one of the focus area of it is speed. Um, uh, talk a bit about uh, how important is speed uh, for uh, for enterprise customers? Why do why should they care about it in today's world? Yeah, we believe speed is actually the most important thing. If you can deliver speed with, with quality, the pace of change in a business world has been accelerating over the past 10 years and will continue to accelerate. That's the number one thing that is not changing in the world. The change comes at us uh, ever faster. And we see it even in today's times with COVID, how dramatic and fast the, the impact can be. So there is a huge premium, there's enormous value placed on the ability to move with speed and especially to do it at scale. It's easy to move with speed in small teams and small environments, but if you're a massive enterprise and you have to adapt with speed, that becomes very difficult. So we believe that's incredibly valuable for our customers to be able to ship code faster, and that is the central mission of the company. There is another aspect, uh, a key problem here that our customers are facing, which is the rising of cloud complexity. 
Um, you only have to look around as to how much, um, how many additional services emerge every day, how many new technologies emerge every day, and how complex this um, new cloud world is for developers and operators alike. And how do you navigate this complexity? How do you achieve speed when there is a lot of complexity and a lot of change? And that is exactly what we aim to deliver as the central promise for our customers. Yeah, uh, if you look at you know all these cloud native technologies, they're supposed to make job easier. But if you look at CNCF landscape, you cannot even see the whole landscape on one screen. Uh, you know you have to use so many different components. So let's talk about uh, the importance of this release. Uh, for enterprise customers who are consuming containers and Kubernetes, looking at all these complexities and so many choices that are there that they have to deal with? Well, we, we believe that this release is going to make an enormous difference for our customers. We have 800 customers around the world today. One third of Fortune 500 companies use our container technology today. And many of them are doing that very large scale, whether it's somebody like Visa or Société Générale or Nationwide or Standard & Poor's. Um, so, and, and they are looking for a, a simpler, easier, and more flexible way to build and run new applications on top of a container platform. And they want to do it in a consistent fashion on top of public clouds and private clouds without having to lock themselves in into one or the other so that they can have flexibility as the strategy evolves over time. So the feedback that we receive from our customer base is extremely positive. They, they love the simplicity, they love the choice. And of course, they very much appreciate the rock solid security. And that's at the very foundation of everything we do through our Docker Enterprise Container Engine. So it's very, very important for them. They've been asking for this for a while. Right. Also, uh, this space is also very crowded, but when we look at Mirantis, if you look at the evolution of Mirantis, you have great experience with hyperscale cloud, you know, massive clouds. But still, if you look at this current space, how do you differentiate yourself from your competitors when you come up with this uh, new offering? Well, um, first, we are the only remaining independent Cloud native infrastructure company um, at scale. Uh, there are many other very small companies in related spaces, but if you're looking at companies that are significant <coughs> scale as, as we are, we're the only independent one left. In addition to that, we are uh, delivering differentiation through just three big tenants that we have. One is simplicity. We bring simplicity to a very complex cloud native world. We offer choice at every single layer of the stack. You're not locked in into a certain operating system, to a certain virtualization platform, into a public or private cloud infrastructure. Uh, you have a lot of choice for developer tools, which people are telling us all the time. One of the reasons they choose our platform is because of the choice of developer plugins that we have. And we have by far and the most robust security in the industry. So if you put those three things together, simplicity, choice, and security, we have something that's compelling. And we deliver all of this as a true cloud service, not in a traditional enterprise software uh, business model, but you can consume it as a cloud service on any infrastructure anywhere. And as far as we can tell, we are the only folks out there who can do this. And you also talk about uh, a new breed of Kubernetes developers. I'm happy you're asking this, and we're super excited about this because we we speak with um, with many Kubernetes developers because our the Lens is the world's most popular IDE, and it is uh, it is our product, and it's being used in the meantime by forty thousand plus Kubernetes developers around the world, and every single day. 500 new developers uh, register and start to use Lens. So we have quite a bit of reach uh, in the meantime. And what we are seeing is that this new breed of Kubernetes developers are actually very interested in how to best marry the applications with the infrastructure, with the Kubernetes capabilities, and become quite actually knowledgeable and deeply involved in how Kubernetes works and 
the capabilities and the power it can offer developers. So whereas other developers maybe up to this point have been very, very abstracted of the infrastructure and they do not care as to how the, how the infrastructure works, this new breed of Kubernetes developers are actually embracing Kubernetes, are becoming very, very curious about its capabilities and what, what it can do, and are looking for ways to get insights into how their application performs on Kubernetes and how to optimize it. That's a new breed of developer, and we empower that developer through two lens, um, the Kubernetes IDE, and of course, through the Doc Enterprise Container Cloud, which is entirely uh, Kubernetes-centric and offers a self-service experience for developers. Awesome. Adrian, thank you so much for talking to me today, and good luck with the, with the event. It's first uh, virtual event for Mirantis, and I look forward to talk to you again. Thank you. My pleasure.